it. Uh, Kiz, you wrote today that uh, the training wheels, to use your own term, the training wheels should come off Brock Osweiler. He's been a game manager. Now, against the Oakland Raiders in a game that is at home, and I don't think there's anybody that's going to pick the Raiders to win here, is it time to say, go ahead and play? Go out and play. Have fun. Throw it around. Do what you want to. Let's let's expand the game uh, game plan and the playbook. Yes, let let's expand the, the playbook. Let's not go back to hurry, hurry, Omaha, Omaha, and throw it 50 <laughs> times. We don't need to do that. But this is what I looked up. He started three games. He's very good on the script. In that opening script, on that opening drive, he's seven for eight. He's uh, completed over 100 yards in passes and led two touchdown drives. After that, it seems to me the playbook gets pretty narrow. He's had 35 drives in the rest of the game, and he's only scored five touchdowns in those 35 drives. So it seems to me that Gary Kubiak keeps him on a very short leash, and I'm not sure that you want Brock Osweiler to lead your team to the Super Bowl, but you've got to give them more to do if you're going to win in the playoffs. And if I'm not mistaken, too, after the interception in that game, there was 20 additional plays after that. Yeah. 16 of them were runs, four were pass. So, I mean, that's just way too conservative. you got to unleash the guy. Well, you, what you're trying to do is protect the lead at that point, and uh, I believe that Gary Kubiak has taken after his coach. And I'm not talking about Mike Shanahan, who he was an offensive coordinator under with the Denver Broncos. He was a quarterback's coach under Mike Shanahan as an offensive coordinator in San Francisco. I think he's being Dan Reeves, who was the coach oh, yeah. here when Kubiak and, and Elway got their starts together. And the, John Elway, you're talking about LaShawn McCoy and, and, and Chip Kelly. John Elway and Dan Reeves had an uneasy truce and war, peace and war, war and peace <laughs> yes. throughout their relationship. And it was because Dan Reeves was from a school with the Detroit, with Dallas Cowboys of get the lead, protect it, be, go conservative. And that's exactly what Gary Kubiak's become. I would like to find out if this guy's worth $10 million a year for three years, or if he's worth letting go in free agency, if he's a guy that can get them to the Super Bowl. I'm not finding that out now when you go in, you played three and a half games and you have maybe four, tux, four or five touchdown drives that you've led. You look at it from a totally different perspective. We'll mm -hmm. say that Brad's with Yahoo.Sports, uh, Yahoo.com. Well, we actually go sports.yahoo.com or yahoosports.com. Yes. Which is affiliated in NBC Sports. So you look at it from a different perspective. I, I would ask you this. Would you ever take him in a, in a fantasy league, a, a weekly fantasy league, the way that he's playing? If you're a daily fantasy player him? because he's so cheap, sure, why not? Particularly in this matchup because I think the Broncos will take the kid gloves off of him and allow him to operate vertically and aggressively in this game because the setup is uh, so but nice wait, for him I, to do I, that. I want to make that sure because I'm going to go back to Mark and I'm going to go back to myself. You think they are going to take the kid gloves. You, are, yep. you do think they're going to expand the playbook, as I said earlier. You it's not going to be the way it was before his was saying with Peyton Manning and chucking it 50, 55 times in a contest. That's not going to be the case. But you look at the secondary of Oakland. Okay, yeah, Charles Woodson is still playing at a high level despite his advanced age. Came in the same class, draft class as Peyton Manning, obviously, and playing uh, really obscene football considering how antiquated he is. But DJ Hayden is toasty. The guy gets burnt on a regular basis. <laughs> He's given up a QB rating of 115 to his assignments on the season. So if Osweiler is going to have success, they can pick on D.J. Hayden in coverage. I think Demarius Thomas, who's going to draw D.J. Hayden most times, will play one of his better games this season okay, as a result. I say this to you. You think he should take the cover off his, his quarterback like an old car that you, you pull the cover off and go, oh, that's a beautiful car. Will he? Will Kubiak turn him loose this week? I don't think he will. I, 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 I want him to, but I think Kubiak is like most football coaches. He's going to stick with what's working, and they're undefeated with Brock playing very conservatively.